remember me, but I am so excited about MKids. Are you excited? Yeah, let's begin! Think of the most delicious family meal you've ever had. Maybe it looked something like this. Can you remember how you felt? What was the best part of it? Now, will you please draw a big table with your family mentors all around the table? If you can, draw your favorite food on the table too. Oh, there is something very special about eating together, right? Jesus loved to eat with people. I wonder if you want to draw Jesus at your table as well. You can decide who he sits next to. Just before Jesus was crucified, he had a very special meal with his disciples one evening. The disciples were the 12 men that followed Jesus, if you remember. They, we call this last meal communion. Would you like to read about it? After taking the cup, he gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among you. For I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, gave thanks and broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Can you imagine what it was like to sit around the table with Jesus? Imagine you were there that night. What would you ask Jesus? And Jesus invites us to celebrate communion with him. Even if we don't see him, we know he's always with us every day. It's so wonderful to be with Jesus. Communion helps us to remember what Jesus does for us. We can almost say that communion is a time of remembering, where we talk together and think about how wonderful Jesus is, that he was willing to die on the cross for us. You don't have to drink wine, you can drink juice. The bread and the wine are only signs for us to help us remember that Jesus died for us. We taste and smell the bread and the juice and then we think of Jesus. We're also so happy that he has risen again and is still alive. It's also a time of saying thank you. We are so happy that Jesus loves us so much that he has made a plan that we may also be close to him. Not even sin can stand in the way anymore. <laughs> thank goodness he always forgives us. Communion helps us to remember and feel that we are part of Jesus' big family. We may not all be together now, but we remain brothers and sisters with Jesus as our head. Perhaps you want to celebrate with the rest of the congregation today. You can also just pray together and think back to the first communion. Remember that Jesus also invites you too. Remember what he has done for you. Thank him for forgiving you and giving you a lot of good things. Realize that you are part of a faith community. We will sing, sing, sing and make music with the heavens we will sing 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 grateful that you hear us when we shout your praise lift high the name of jesus we will sing 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 and make music with the Sing, 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 grateful that you hear 
the love that frees us You are the light that leads us Like a fire burning Son of God, you are the one You are the one We're living for We will sing, sing, sing And make music with the heavens We will sing, sing, sing Grateful that you hear us when we shout Friends, let's pray together. Lord Jesus, thank you that we can remember what you did for us. And thank you that you forgive us. Jesus, thank you that you love us so, so much. In your name we pray this. Amen. Bye, friends.